Las Vegas, Sandy Castell and Friends. Castell. Ladies and gentlemen, live from the Riviera Hotel, which proudly presents Michael Leonetti's Something Different. Oh yeah, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> Ah, you got me today, and you got me tomorrow. Sandy's, you know, she's in real estate. So, you know, the real estate commission's, uh, they got, she got to take a test. So she's doing, that's what she's at. So, ladies and Gentiles, monkeys and reptiles, I'm here for you. We're here. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. What, what a day is we got today, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I mean? So Sandy says, Mike, you want to do a rerun? I said, hell no, man. What it's costing me for this radio station? Hell, I'm going to be on it because everybody wants to hear what I got to say. What a bunch of kissers I got here today this morning. <laughs> I got a great crowd over here. I have, thank you. You know who was kissing there? That was Ev uh, Aaron Phillips with um, Vegas. Yes, sir. Vegas Unwrapped. Vegas Unwrapped. He came in. He'll be here tomorrow with me, so he's one of my special guest stars. I got my good pal, my buddy, my friend from the Temple Beshalom, the Moyle himself. Evan Davis, he's got lots to say. We got Perkos with me today. Joe Lay's wife, who made some beautiful scones. And she's going to talk about her beautiful restaurant that she has named... Truffles and bacon. Truffles and bacon. And boy, them people can make a sandwich. Naturally, I got my pal, my buddy, uh, my true friend that really loves me. Not like Davis. He treats me like I'm dirt. But uh, I'm just teasing. We got Jolie, the greatest artist since Monet. And Salvador Dali. And I'm proud to say I got my very good friend, Mr. Robert Turner. He's here with me today, and he's going to be talking about his gold and all the money that he's got. You don't have nowhere near the money Carl Grosso's got, kid. Trust me. <laughs> I'm working on it. You're working on it. And naturally, John Caminero. Yo. And Johnny's right here with me, and it's always nice to have one of my own. Here, because you know, I don't feel so alone. So John was with me, and John's got a lot of things to say. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Sandy Castell Show. I am Chef Michael, and I'm so pleased and proud to be doing this today. And I can say whatever I want, and I don't have to be interrupted by Sandy. But I miss her with all my love. She's my love. She's the love of my life, everybody. We did that show yesterday, right, John? Uh, John is our uh, John Styles is our cameraman, and I made that frittata, that Italian omelet. Mom, mommy, was that delicious? What a great time that we had, and uh, we had a really good time. You know, I got to tell you, we have some great sponsors, and we're going to tell you all about our sponsors. And we want everybody to know that next week we're going to start to shoot television. We're going to TV now. Just so you know, ladies and gentiles, monkeys and reptiles, I stand before you to sit behind you to talk about a subject I know nothing about. I am going to talk about the four corners of the round table. Why I said that crap, I have no idea. Anyway, I want everybody to know that Friday will be at. Siena's Italian Tatoria restaurant. Does anybody know what that means? Jolie, wake up, you son of a... Wake up. What uh, does Tatoria mean? He goes, the, the <laughs> Trattoria. What the hell does that mean? That's an Italian word for restaurant. Is that, a, that one is shame on me for not knowing that. That's an Italian word for restaurant. Evan Davis, it takes a Jewish yeah. person... <laughs> To it, know what it, good Italian food is. What the hell do we know about Italian food? Intelligent, that's intelligent. Is all. that what that is? That's it. Is that what that is? Yeah. John, what do you think? John Camaro sitting back. This kid is so quiet. He reminds me, he looks just like my nephew. He's such a good kid. You know, he's great. I can't wait to get him on the microphone. So I was wondering, and John Carlo, naturally, I called him. He's out on a boat. He's in the Cayman Islands. And I oh. called on the phone. I said, hey, is this John Carlo? My name is John Carlo. John Carlo. I don't know why that guy talks like that, but that's that's what he does. So who's watching uh, the, uh, the renovation? He so don't know, and he, he said he said don't care. care. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you got that damn wall down, pal, because I'm, you know, you know, Evan, everybody wants a good seat. I know, it's he's hard. Gonna, he's going to come and he's going to say, where'd they put the bottles of booze? Where'd that go? No, I, they, I they, they don't do a hell of a job. The oh, guy's okay. spending a fortune of money. You know, and I'm very excited to say that T Fox, my brother, the yeah. great T Fox, will be performing with us for the grand opening. Boy, that kid cost me a fortune, but it was worth it. He has but, a little more hair than you. What? Well, now, is that nice uh, to hurt an old Italian guy that's bald? Well, I didn't do anything wrong by saying that. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. What do you let you? What's the matter? You can't hear nothing? What happened there, Evan? Oh, no, no, no. I could hear, but why do I always have to go after the hair joke? Yeah, that's what I mean. I was, that's you know, what I want to know. That guy's got to stick. John, what are you I, laughing about? You want your, you like your, your situation? <laughs> he's now, got scraps left. That's all he's got. There is no problem about hair. I can paint that. Well, you know, <laughs> when I come back someday, I want to look like you. Joe Lay's got to be the mo one of the most handsomest guys. I'm serious. I've ever seen. He reminds me of, of Cary Grant. He's six foot four. Good looking kid. 
You know what I mean? And I, if I had to come back in another life, I want to look just like you. And then what happened to me? Uh, so <laughs> you're the, hey, what are you about? You know what I mean? And you're the only painter that paints by number. And I think that's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Money's easy. Money anyway, ladies and gentlemen, 731-1230. Pick up the phone and call me because I'm always going to give a recipe. But I got a tremendous day is here. And today is a special day for me because I want everybody to say what they want to say. And that's what's kind of nice. So I'm going to start off with my very special friend. And I say that all the time because, you know, in the entertainment business, we really mean that. Because let me tell you about me. If I don't like it, you ain't on the show. Um, what are you shaking? No, I'm I agree with you. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Yeah, because today a lot of people are phonies. I hate to tell you that. Yeah, sure. They say, hey, you're my friend, you're my buddy, and then they talk about you when your back is turned. I right. don't like people like that. You know what I mean? Not where I came from. Don't say nothing, Evan. Don't say nothing. <laughs> I swear to you, I will call Palm Mortuary, and I'll get the casket ready for you. <laughs> and I'll put you in a Catholic cemetery. I'll straighten you right out. <laughs> with a big cross of Jesus on top of your casket. Okay. So, I mean, what the heck is going on, Mr. Phillips? Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, I'm actually here today, and thank you for inviting me in. I have production at 9 30 with so, with a new show that my Vegas and Rap Productions uh, is launching tonight called Spotlight on Vegas Business right. from 5 to 6 on Vegas All Net Radio. So I'm actually here to do some production this morning. Of course, Wednesday mornings we're here with you and Sandy doing our Unwrapped Treasures. Normally Wednesday nights we're at Sienna's, but of course this week we'll be there on Friday. Of course, my flagship show Thursday night, 7 to 9 p.m. on Vegas All Net Radio, uh, Vegas Unwrapped. And then this Saturday, a very special event from 7 to 11 a.m. at the Red Rock Harley Davidson on Honor Flight of Southern Nevada is doing their every six-month annual fundraiser. What they do is they raise funds to send World War II veterans back to Washington, D.C. who have never seen any of the war memorials. So it's a tremendous cause. If you want to come out, it's like five bucks for pancakes. We're going to be there from 8 to 10 doing a live remote show from there. And that's just this week. No kidding. <laughs> and, of no. course, looking forward to our TV debut with you. Oh, yeah. Well, and Sandy. You know, when you did that show with Jolay, and i got to tell you, it's thanks to Jolay that we met you. Absolutely. And you called that day. I was so impressed with these guys because the job that they did, and you can go on the, you can go on YouTube and see, you know the uh, uh, this big production Sandy and I produced for the great Joe Les. You guys did a magnificent job, and and you and I got to tell you, you wing it every Absolutely. week. Absolutely, there's no script. People walk into place. I'll grab them by the hand. I'll walk them right up, and it's live. It's on television, right. and I say, tell about who you are. And these guys just how they interview, which is really phenomenal. You guys are class. Thank you. Your personality. You got a tremendous character. And I love the two of you guys. I mean, you seriously has helped us so well because I said this a million times. To win a war, you have to have an army. No man is an island, and you can't do it by yourself. you got to have a group of the right people behind you. Right. You know, and, and business is war. Right. Don't let nobody fool you. Business is war. So that's what you have to, and I'm, I'm a firm believer in that. And well, that's great. Cash and I, my partner Ricky Cash, he and I are, are, are tickled pink that we've we've gotten to know you and Sandy via Jolet and, and Perco. And that opportunity back in March was tremendous for us. And uh, we thank you again for having us part of the team. And, you know, we, we owe you a debt of gratitude for, for allowing us to be part of what you're doing. You know, I'm a firm believer to be unique is to be yourself. Mm -hmm. And... The word discernment, I have developed that because from the jungles that I have been in and the hand-to-hand -hand combat I've been in throughout my life, mm -hmm. you have to learn that. And in this day and age, especially at the age of 62 years old, you got to make the right decisions. And if I got a bad feeling about somebody, mm -hmm. believe me, I walk away. I don't care how much you got. I don't care who you know, who you think you know. I don't need the grief in my life. I walk away. That's why we are very, very successful. And in my little, small, little circle, I keep my friends so close to me. Now, there's a saying. They say, keep your friends closer, keep your enemies closer. Heard this? Not me. I destroy my enemies. <laughs> that's how I look at it. I hate to absolutely. say that. Absolutely. No, and I, that's absolutely. what you have to do. If you read the Bible, you know, God turned around and wiped people out. You know, it's nice to be important, but it's important to be nice. Right. But anyway, you know, I, we love you for coming in. We and appreciate we thank you. it. Is there anything else that you want our listeners, the 200 billion people <laughs> that listen to us every morning, they got nothing better to do but to listen to me? Well, I'd be remiss if I also didn't mention because I just got a text from my partner, Cash, who How's reminded he doing? me. He's doing well. Is He's he just. He's eating bagels. He's eating uh, kreplach. He's eating all that stuff. Yeah, but baby. He's right running around town. But also Tuesday nights, right on this very station from 6 to 8 p.m., Cash and I co-host a radio show called uh, Raw Power Sports. And tonight we're doing our live fantasy football draft on the air. So we're all over the place, and we're, we're blessed with the opportunity. We met, uh, you call him John, we call him JPEG. He's our videographer <laughs> as well. So we met him, courtesy of you as well. I don't get my percentage. You grab my camera, man. <laughs> Where's my cut? Oh, well, that, oh the old finger, huh? Okay. I guess he's telling 
Hey, John. I guess I'm he's telling so- me you get 1%. That's right. I'm calling Social Security also on you. <laughs> so okay. other than that, we, we thank you so much for the opportunity to be with you and Sandy and to have met Perko and Jole and these guys here, Robert and John. We've met it doing the interviews. It's just been a blessing for us, and we're really looking forward to the next level for Vegas. Well, we love you and guys, and so. we're glad that you're a part of our thank team because I wouldn't do it without you. I'm telling you thank right you. now, and I want you to know that with the two gentlemen I want to introduce, you know, these two guys, we're working on something very big. You guys are coming with us, so Absolutely. that's the power that we're going to have because today everybody wants an insurance policy. Right. And the next guy I want to introduce is the great Evan Davis because I'm going to tell you something. Evan Davis, and I want to give him an accolade. I always tease him about the Jewish, all that BS that I do. But in my heart, I, lo- I truly love this guy because he is the most kindest hearted man I've ever met in my life. Good hearted. No, he is. He really is. He's a very nice guy. You know, and it's it's hard to find nice people today that are out there. And he's one of those rare individuals that's the first one to reach into your, reach into your pocket to pay his bill, <laughs> which is wonderful. <laughs> you know what I just said? Are you, are you talking to me? Yeah, right. I'm talking to you. You, you know, I love you, buddy. I, I so, know. ladies and gentlemen, without I further know. ado. Okay, the the wonderful, the most kind-hearted guy, because he's got a few things he wants to say. Don't be long-winded. I want to come over and have uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Phillips said just crush you with his hand. Give come him a little on massage. Already, look at, that's look enough. Look at the clothes on this guy. It got another two minutes in the commercials. I, 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 I run the commercials here. You understand? Uh-huh. I'm picking up the tab, so I call the shot. So go uh, right ahead. Well, all right. Well, I first I want to say you should make love, not war. I don't care about this war crap that What's you're that? talking about. Make, well, you can make love yeah, and still have war. Uh, that's the best need, part of it. Don't need war at this point. Need more. What are you talking about? Okay, first, I first I <laughs> want to just uh, just announce that I've uh, uh, I've taken on the responsibilities of entertainment editor for the Vegas Voice. Get out! Yeah. So so if I wasn't out enough in the evenings uh, doing things, uh, right. uh, I could fill up the other. Don't you ever action. say to me again. I don't need this job. I don't want the grief. I just want to have fun. You are well, I am the whole have fun. I am having fun. This is going to be a lot All right, of fun. how much are they paying you? I want to know what uh, they're paying you. I'm not allowed to speak about that. I know on, how much on, they're giving you. The, they're giving you the two air. bagels and a box of locks. What are you talking <laughs> about? I wish. I wish. But, uh, but talking about the Vegas Voice, uh, in the, not the September issue that's coming out right now, but but October is when you'll be able to catch my uh, my article and find out what I'm what I'm doing. I'm going to be talking a lot about uh, little snippets of different people in town, what they're doing, also what I've done this like the previous month, right. what I'm what I'm going to be doing, and uh, try to bring a little younger flair to uh, to the paper. They've also have a couple of uh, afternoon affairs coming up this month, and on September 16th, they have uh, an afternoon affair being hosted by. Gary Anthony and Mark O'Toole. It's going to be at Sun City McDonald Ranch, that community center. So the doors open at 1230 and uh, the music and all the variety show starts at 130. How nice. You can you can get all the information at thevegasvoice.net or of course you can go to evandavisjazz.com You're to, making a fortune to find of money out you about know. that. Oh, just that. Then they're doing another another show. <laughs> this one's a little, uh, little different. It's going to be on a Tuesday September 24th also in the afternoon, hosted by the same two guys. This time it's going to be held at Ronda Carr's Event Center. Not Ronda Carr! It used to be known as Viva Las Vegas. Not Event Viva Center. Las Vegas! Now, now it's Ronda Carr's Get Event Center. Get the hell out! You're kidding! So that's going to be, uh, that's going to be a fun uh, a fun afternoon with uh, with a buffet and everything else. What and, are they going to have? And, oh, a buffet uh, lunch. You'll, you'll have uh, chicken. You'll have beef. You'll Not have, beef! Oh, yeah. The whole Where are you works. going? All right. Oh, go, let him go. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> I'll see you. Thank you. That was, uh, just real quick, that was uh, Mr. Phillips. He had it. it was, thanks, thanks for coming. Yes. Go ahead, my yes. dear friend. Yes. So, uh, also, next Tuesday, on September 9th, at the Mad Greek Cafe, I, uh, I'm i producing a show with Mark Giovi. Not Mark Giovi! Mark Giovi! Yes, he's doing a Broadway. He's going to be doing Broadway. You're kidding he's me! He's going to be backed up by Ned Mills on keys. Ned Mills? And, and, and Michael T. <laughs> no! Michael T. Yes. <laughs> but uh, let me tell everyone if they do not have a reservation yet, please call me to make a reservation. It's going to be hopefully a standing room only crowd. So m- call me. I'll find a seat for you somewhere. You can get a hold of me at 702 630 6111. That's 630 6111. And six three zero six one one one. 
You know, listening to you is like watching paint dry. No, I think that's, I'm teasing you. I love you. You know I tease you. That's great. I mean, you got Ron Dakar, who I love dearly. He's one of, you know, well, you know, and then the, now you're, the, you're a big, you're a writer now. Now you're going to write, uh, Joel, I'll, let you, I'll, I'll bet you a hundred grand. He'll never mention me in his paper. All right. Never. No, I, I know He'll that. never uh, mention me or Sandy in his paper. You continue like this. I don't think he's <laughs> going to start to see you. No, he <laughs> don't want to see you. He ain't going to never write about us. If I get lucky to get my, my name, you know what I'm trying to say to him? Uh, <laughs> Nobody <laughs> kidding. You got more? No. Do I have more? Well, you know, Ronda Carr's events that they had thing, has things going on, you know, every weekend. Right. Saturday afternoons is a big band jazz uh, Saturday. Afternoon. Get out, really? Yeah, you come you come to your radio station to host it and you have your cell phone with you on. That's my backer, ring, buddy. And then you and then my you banker, talk. my banker gets through get, anything. All right, you keep talking to your banker and I'll I'll talk about this. We've got shows going on at the uh, the event center, people like Bill Fain. Not Bill Fain! Kelly Clinton. Kelly Clinton! Yeah, Bobby Rose. Bobby Rose! Oh, yeah, I mean just a whole bunch of uh, great stuff. Uh, That's I got the there. chills. I can't I believe know. it. I Bobby know. Rose and, Isn't that and and, uh, and, and you, with the Count Basie band. Hey, you know what's coming into town? Who? Just No, no. Uh, a thing called Cast Party. Not Cast Party! Yeah. Uh, the evening of September 16th at the Cabaret Jazz, uh, a club at the Smith Center. Uh, 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 it's being... Uh, it, uh, it's done every Monday by Jim Caruso. Really? And Billy, Billy Stritch on, Not on Billy piano. Stritch, on the piano. Uh, at Birdland in New York, they hold it. It's like an open mic for professionals. Right. They come into town here maybe twice a year. And uh, some great, great entertainment coming in. Starts at 9.30 at night. And then the following night is the Composer Showcase on the 17th. Get out! And the Composer Showcase, I don't know if anyone's... <laughs> Ever ever been there? Heard of it? Do you guys know about the composer show? Yes, I do. Do you, do you? Uh, Irving Berlin was there. And it's, uh, <laughs> it's an entertainment forum. <laughs> all right, it's an entertainment forum that allows local composers and singers the opportunity to uh, present original music, and it's hosted by Keith Thompson. Not Keith he, Thompson. <laughs> he's the musical director of Jersey Boys. Get out! You're Where's kidding. Sandy when you need her? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Michael? You need to come out with me more so you can get to meet some of the people who uh, who really really provide great entertainment in this. Uh, what am I, Chop Livy? I look like, do I look like a soup can to you? Well, I, you know, you got to expand your horizons. See other venues, go to other places. Well, guess what? When uh, people don't come to the uh, Siena's anymore and the lines are not around the corner, then I'll come and see these other people. Uh, but in the meantime, okay. okay, talking about entertainment, and it's nice to have, there's a lot of great entertainment that are out there. And like I said, what we try to do is, is and you got local people, because what you have, you have the same people. I'll be honest with you. you got the Tap House crowd, you got the uh, Titan American Club crowd, you got the bootlegger crowd, you got the same people going seeing the same acts over and over and over again, which is kind of nice. And, and I think that everybody out there needs to support all the people that if, I don't know if you could remember everything that Evan said because he just did a thousand dollar um, ad, yeah. okay? But if uh, you need to support him and, and support these acts because these people really need you. You know what I mean? And without an audience, what the hell is anybody going to sing for? So, Evan, I commend you for doing work so diligently to bring all these people and not giving a rat's ass about me or Sandy, but it's okay. But anyway, we're going to be back in about one, uh, two minutes. We got a commercial coming up for the people that pick up the tab for this place. And I love you, folks. Thanks for making us number one. I'm back again. Sandy's in school. Boy, I love that girl with all my heart and soul. Anyway, we're having a great time. I know we got a caller out there. Who's calling in? Hey, Chef Michaels. This is Robert Gordy. Hey, Jr. baby, what's shaking? <laughs> Thank you so much. I just wanted to tell you I, I saw your show on YouTube last night right. of you and Sandy cooking, right. and it was so phenomenal. You guys had me cracking up. It was so funny and hilarious, and that's a cotta. That's a cotta. It made me want to go and uh, learn how to cook so I can make one. Myself. Oh, man, that's so easy to make. You know, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm excited to say that uh, Friday night we're going to open up the uh, Sienna's, and guess who is going to be in the show? Oh. You know. Not T-Fox. The man with the plan, the <laughs> Gita with the heater. 
the master of disaster, the king of steam. <laughs> you know, it's really funny. But I love when you call. You know, we went down to the Fiesta, and I say this all the time. Ladies and gentlemen, you want to hear a great, great act, because there's a lot of bands out there. And I'm going to tell you again, you got a lot of soup cans that are out there. you got wedding bands. They want to do the hokey pokey. and uh, But if you want to see great entertainment, and I really mean that, the last of the, of the great entertainers, you know, it's, it's at the Fiesta. You got Motown. Oh, you got some true. great, tremendous acts that are down oh, there. Oh, you know what, Chef Michael? It was so we were so elated. You and Sandy and the whole gang came out, and I'm trying to tell you, ninety thousand listeners. Chef Michael came dressed to the nines, beautiful white shirt, beautiful white suit, and, and blue shirt. And uh, I was so glad I took a picture with you. I still <laughs> posted it on Facebook. Thank so you, sir. Make sure you get a copy of that. But uh, we love you all. Sandy, your whole crew, family, Doc Perry, Mr. Carl and Lisa Grasso. The Grasso's the billionaires? Oh, my gosh, my <laughs> gosh. They were in the house. They all were at the Fiesta at my cousin Sherry Gordy's show at, at the Motown tribute at the when, Fiesta. So, yeah. When are we going to get that girl on the show? When are we going to get that girl on the show? What yes, do I got to kidnap her? Very good. We, we, we are talking. You know, she's going to Chicago this week to open a, a Sherry Gordy present show in Chicago. She's been in Seattle. She's been in Houston. She did five or six weeks in uh, uh, Studio City. She's going all over the place. And uh, so we are working on getting her on the show with you guys because I know she would have a great time. She was so elated that you and uh, Sandy and the whole gang came out to the show with T. Fox that night. And uh, we're just going to continue to keep it going and just building it up. And uh, just we want to stick right next with you guys. We listen to your show every morning. Thank you. And we can't get enough of you and Sandy. It's well, phenomenal. we love you. We love you for that. And, and and I'll say this again, ladies and gentlemen, out in Radio Land and TV Land, one, I want to give a special thanks to John Styles because, you know, I had a lot of camera people in here. Nobody's like this guy. This guy goes right back from the studio and he posts it right up. Which is kind of, which is really nice, and uh, naturally we're going to have a whole full camera crew. But uh, in my contract, John Styles will be right there next to the, even though there'll be producers and other directors that I'll be working with uh, for that. Evan Davis is wow. over here again. He robbed, uh, he robbed something. Who, who made took, these uh, scones? Who made the scones? The scones were made by Perco. That's well, Joe Lay's Jolay. wife. But anyway, before we get into the scones, okay, I want to, uh, Mr. Gordy, we love you. I hope to see you Friday. You know what I mean? I want you to bring the gang up there because, again, I am so excited that T-Fox is going to be with us because let me tell you something, man. I'm, You know, like I said, everybody pushes. Everybody's great. Every act is terrific. You know, and I hate to say this. They're not. But the bottom line yep. is this. The lot of, the, 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 T-Fox is one of the rare, great Acts are like Sammy Davis, just like uh, uh, Mark Jehovah. There's only a few people that really impress me that are out there, and and I can count them on one hand. Everybody else is good. They're nice people. Don't get me wrong. But if I could put these guys back 35 years ago, they wouldn't get a shot in the lounge if they paid for it. Because years ago, you had Freddie Bell, the Vagabonds. You had the Treneers. You had acts that were phenomenal. That's the reason why that we were very successful at the Siennas. Because naturally, I got Jimmy Melodon who is the best horn saxophone player and we're adding two more pieces I'm going with trumpet and trombone now I'm pulling out now I'm pulling out the big guns now the charts come out okay and what the people seen at the Riviera it doesn't become a lounge act it becomes a show show you know what I mean and it, it's a high energy show that's why I say no ballads I don't want to hear no ballads get out there and swing because it's all energy that's out there because I'm a firm believer nobody wants to watch one guy for one hour even me they don't want to see it. People want a variety show. And that's what I try to do. And that's why at the Fiesta, you bang them out left and right. You got one act after another. And I watch the audience and the people love it. You are doing a fabulous job. And ladies oh. and gentlemen, again, get your butt out on Thursday to go Thursday see night. the gang at the Fiesta. And tell them that's Chef Michael yeah. sends you. And uh, you still got to pay to get in. Yeah. Hey. All right. <laughs> hey, Five dollars. 
<laughs> T Fox, you got to send me your information. Did you send it to me? No, that's not T Fox. Oh, that is, is Barry Gordy. Oh, ba oh, Barry Gordy. Hey, it's Evan Davis. How are Robert you? I'm sorry. Gordy. Robert Gordy. But, yeah, okay. Yeah, Evan. We met you, Evan. Where me and uh, Monique uh, Brewster were uh, in the studio a few weeks ago, and uh, we got to meet Evan Davis. A wonderful man. We want to definitely connect with him on his blog. And uh, uh, Chef Michael, uh, I'm going to talk to Monique Brewster to see if she can come out Friday and sing with T Fox and I know you're a big big fan of hers and uh, thank you so much for uh, making us a part of you and Sandy's life because we're having a great time. Thank you. Well, we love you my dear friend. Thank you for calling in. And for calling you in you're going to get two free show tickets to see Guy Lombardo <laughs> Hey. At the uh, at the Mirage. Tell him to call me. Give him a give, uh, give, I, give I, him a I, I call. I want to see that rock vault. <laughs> I, I would love to see hey. that rock vault. Okay, we'll get you all hooked up. Thanks, brother, for calling. I love you. I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. Michael. Well, on the okay. phone, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know who this is, but they say Sandy. Hi, Sandy. How can I help you? <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Chef Michael. How are you? How are you? Well, I just wanted to tell you I'm having a great time here at the Realtor Orientation over here at GLVAR on West on East Sahara. And I miss being there with you guys on the show, but I hear that you're having a great time. And I'm looking forward to hearing about your new, latest recipe. And I'm getting so many calls and so many texts about our show that we did yesterday, Michael, with you fixing the frittata. Yes, it oh was. Oh, my gosh. Everybody loves it. Yes, Sandy, it was. It's really, it was a great thing. And I am definitely going to do some. But you know, in the audience, we got Joe Lay that's here. We got John Camerano from the Gambino family. <laughs> okay, he's here to talk about why the mob squealed. I don't know. I'm just kidding. I'm just teasing. Herco made some phenomenal scones, and Evan Davis has swallowed them down like he's on a desert island. It's incredible. And we got Robert well, listen, Turner thank here. You guys. I'm glad you guys are having a great show. Yeah. And I got to go back into class now, but uh, I, I'm glad you're having a great time. And uh, it's always great to hear about your great chef, Russ, chef Michael recipe. Thank you, sweetheart. Right. Thank okay. you, Sandy. All right. All right. See you later. Bye. All right, baby. Hey, bye, bye. She, she calls in again. Don't put her through, okay? <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. That's the, that's my heart. You know, I got to tell you something, Leach. I said this a million times. You know, today, it's all you do is go on a computer. You know everybody how many times they go to the bathroom. If it wasn't for this girl, I would have never sang again. I would have never performed or even cooked. Okay, I would have wrapped myself in my work, which I do right now, which I run the uh, timesharing programs, you know, and, and, and made a fortune. And I just would have blended into the wallpaper. But she was the one that kind of broke that wall down. Because when a tragedy hits in your life, and all of us went through some kind of stuff, we build a bricks, bricks around us. Okay, and it's other people, okay, that build that. All right, if you raise a child, remember this if you raise a child with hate, they learn not to forgive. If you raise a child with love, they learn to forgive. And all of us as people, we're not going to, nobody has holes in their hand except one guy. And you know who I'm talking about if you believe in him or if you don't believe in him, because there was 2,000 years ago, there was a guy, some people believed he was a son of God, a lot of people didn't. Okay, but he. Made the cripple walk in the blind scene, he raised the dead, and he told people to love one each other. So when people persecute you, guess what? You're in good company. That's the way I look at it. So forgive those that, that hurt you. Pray for those that, that go against you. Because if when you believe in your heart, God will always open up a door for you. Listen to me. Take it from me. I had an empire. I lost it all. Blinked my eyes and was thrown in a dungeon. Came out. And, and the whole world opened up for me with open arms. And that's the power of the God. And don't let nobody tell you different. And I really need that from every nationality. So I just want you to know, I thank the Lord for the blessings that I have today. You know, right now I'm looking at John uh, Cameron. What, what's your, what's your, what's your uh, nationality, John? I'm actually Italian Puerto Rican. How the hell did you get in? <laughs> oh, somebody just let me in. They opened the door, stuck me it in. It was Evan back Davis that let you in. <laughs> well, that's okay. Everybody's in. You know, he's a tiny Puerto Rican. When you're a jet, you're a jet all the way from the first <laughs> cigarette to the last dying day. What a, not too bad for an old man, eh? The voice is still there. That's good. The now, voice that's is still the singer, there. Pal. All right. <laughs> so, Johnny, tell me what the hell's going on. Tell the gang. Not much. Um, we, we, we got a new platform. Um, I'm actually with Knockout Gaming. Um, we got a new platform that we're actually launching tomorrow. It's uh, free to play. Um, we're doing it nationwide. And it's if you go to the website, knockoutpokerroom.com. 
Facebook.com. Right. You'll see all the information there. It's a free-to-play site. Uh, it'll go viral because it has uh, features where you can uh, buy invite only with your Twitter, Facebook. Um, so it's a free platform. Just go to knockoutpokerroom.com and all the information will be there. And it's a free-to-play. You can invite your friends, everyone, and just do free tournaments and practice, learn how to play poker, learn gaming. It's a pretty interesting platform. We know we met at the Cigar Lounge. That is correct. Okay. And uh, thanks to uh, Robert Turner. And it's funny, I walked in, Evan Davis, and uh, he looked at me, and he's, and I didn't see him in 30 years. And he used to do rugs. And those days at my home, I used to have dinners. He said, I did your rugs in your house. I said, you remember? He said, you gave me a meatball sandwich. I remember yeah. that. <laughs> I said, I was cooking. And I gave the guy a hug and a kiss. I said, well, I could, because, you know, I'm Italian. Italian people are like the Jewish faith and everybody. We're very affectionate people. You know what I mean? And if you can't, nothing like embracing somebody. It feels good when somebody gives you a hug. And uh, he came in with a gang of people, and we've been friends ever since. And with, and he introduced me to John. Now, John, I'm proud to say, you want to tell everybody out in Radio Land what we're doing? Yeah, we're doing some great things. I'm actually going to be helping Michael and Sandy with some marketing. And we've got a lot of great things going with the show. So I'm very excited to be able to, you know, to see the things that they're doing in the community. And it's a great show. It's a great atmosphere here. I mean, uh, the people that you're meeting right here, it's, it's great. It's awesome. So we're going to be doing some great things out there with the businesses, with the locals. We're doing something that no one has ever done here in Vegas, which is attaching entertainment piece with showbiz, dinner. And it's very exciting for the locals and the communities to get involved. So um, I'm very anxious to get and, out there and, and get started. And you know something? Because, you know, I got the power. I got When you say you got the power of the tickets, mm -hmm. I got the power of the tickets to, to fill any room. Okay? I can go in Joe's Bar and Grill in Henderson and there'll be a line out, out the corner. Because it's all marketing. That's exactly what it is. There's a lot of great entertainers that are out there. And uh, Evan Davis mentioned quite a few of them. And these people are struggling. They're trying their best to get people to come in, to come and see them. You know what I mean? And nobody ever wants When, when you're an entertainer, it's not like a boxer. Nobody wants to hang up their gloves. Nobody wants to say it's over. You know what I mean? Unless you get sick or you lose your voice or you don't have the snap like you once had. I'm 62 and I've been blessed to have the energy. There'll be a day, like my mother said, Mike, even a train stops. But right now that train, that locomotive is going full force. Okay? So until that day, I said, Ma, don't worry about it. I'll be okay because I'm going straight down that hill and I'm going as fast as I can. I want to do everything in my power, okay, to try to help as many of these great entertainers. Like I said, at the end of September, not the, I'm sorry, the first Sunday of September, I'm going to do a, a six 16-piece orchestra. We're going to be at the uh, C oh, could be Seattle or all the place, whatever venue that I choose. Okay, yes, sir. October. I'm sorry. October. Oh, October. I'm sorry. Thank you, Evan. Because uh, uh, what we're going to do at the end of uh, this month on a Sunday. But Bill Fain is doing a phenomenal thing at the uh, Italian American, American Club, Club with Denise Rose. It's Denise a Judy Garland one-woman show. Right. The tickets uh, are $20, $20 a piece. And uh, if you want a ticket, right. you can give me a call. You can call the Italian American Club, right. uh, whatever. But it's going to be a great show, too. Yeah, because I was at the Italian American Club and they called. They says, do you got tickets for Lena? He said, no, we don't like that guy. No, I'm only teasing you. So anyway, uh, what happened was is that um, we want to get these people then. And I postponed the show for a week later okay to get not to interfere with that I try to give a nice balance so when Evan told me that I said I'll just postpone it for another week of the following Sunday you know what I mean because I want everybody to support these people listen folks do yourself a favor you can't get a meatball sandwich at Sienna's for $15 they want for a meatball sandwich so do yourself a favor go spend the 20 now my thing's a little bit different it's a $35 a ticket but it's a sit down dinner with a 16 piece orchestra and I and again I'm hand picking the best of what Las Vegas has to offer and I'm definitely going to talk to Mark Jehovi this guy's so expensive I'm going to have to sell my motorcycle cycle to pay him because Evan Davis gets 46% of that kid's purse. Shame on you, Evan. But anyway, I'm only teasing you. So uh, that's one of the things that are happening. And I'm glad to say that. Now, now, John, is there anything else that you want the listeners to know of what's happening? Are you single, looking for a chick, looking for a nice Italian girl with a mustache? What do you want? <laughs> no, I'm happily married. I'm happily married. Are you really? So, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm good. I'm taken. So And it's going good right now. You know something? i got to tell you something. Between, I'm gonna, and I'm going to say this because the three people on the dais, ladies and gentlemen, that are here, and I said this many times, Evan Davis, and we have John Camarero. Cam uh, Camarero. Camarero. Naturally, my, my brother. 
not my friend, my brother, okay, because when push comes to shove and I have an, ag an aggravating day, he'll always say, come to my house and stay, but you must cook for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? He sounds like Giancarlo. <laughs> so, and that's uh, Jolie and uh, naturally uh, Bob Turner, you know what I mean, who I love. There's three things a person must have for the nucleus of success. I said this many times, and ladies and gentlemen, listen to me carefully. The content of a person's character, the integrity you hold as an individual, but most important, the compassion that you feel towards another human being. You must have all three of those qualities for the nucleus of success. Many people don't have that. They may have one, maybe two, but not all three. It took me 62 years to develop that third peace in my life. Now I might come off many times, you see me joking about the Italians and the Jews, but in my heart, let me tell you something, I know what it is, okay, to hit rock bottom and to get back because today I look at people with my, with my heart, not my eyes. The majority of people today, they look at everybody with their eyes and they don't look at them with your heart. If you look at somebody with your heart, trust me ladies and gentlemen, you'll see that individual in a completely different vein. So I just want to compliment the four of you fellas, you know what I mean, and Natalie Perko, because she's wonderful behind you. Because between every great man, there's a woman. In my life, it's Sandy. And I'm not ashamed to say it. I'll stand on top of a mountain, okay? And say it, okay? I'm not ashamed to say it. A lot of guys don't want to admit that, that their wives and girlfriends have a great part of them. Because when push comes to shove and the curtain comes down, the person that you're with is the person that you wake up with. So cher cherish that because that audience and that spotlight won't always be there for those people and they know what I'm talking that about. That is absolutely right. Man. Right. And now we got right over here who just jumped in, who's my very dear friend, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to introduce uh, the most magnificent artist. We have over a million dollars worth of his art in our house and I get up every morning and I look around and I say, thank God I didn't have to pay for this. And I say, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> put your hands together for the great show. What's up, buddy? Thank you, Mike. What do you want to say? Well, there's a lot of things to say. First, I would, I would like to say, we miss Sandy around because I'm used to listening. Of course, you are. Every morning, I'm listening to her. You don't give a rat's and ass about me. I, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> oh, I, I, I would like to say, uh, how Sandy started the show in the morning. She's the you best. Know? Yeah, she's a, she's the best. And she started the show by saying, "Good morning, Las Vegas." Oh, good morning, Las Vegas. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is where I, uh, uh, Sandy Castell and friends were at the show. Good morning, Chef Michael. Right. Today is September second, and it's Friday. <laughs> Right. Well, let me tell you something. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you for jumping in there. Let me let me say this to you, Jolie, honestly and truthfully. I love entertainment, but without her here, if she wasn't here, I'd stop this show right now. I say, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you, and I would stop it because we're a team. Okay, we are a team. I'm serious, and that's what it takes. It's like I, uh, Desi Arnaz and Lucille Ball. Okay, D. Martin and Jerry Lewis, Steve Rossi, Marty Allen. The, the list is endless. And at the age of 62, let me tell you something. She's like, the best way to hold, uh, say for her, is like a chariot. I take it off the road and Sandy pulls that chariot right back on. She is the best. Oprah's great. Ellen's terrific. They're all great. It's time for Las Vegas and the and the world to see who Sandy Castell really yeah. is. Not only yeah. a great entertainer, but nobody can handle an audience. Nobody. Yep. In an interview like her, she's got pause, class, personality, you know, and each day I love her more and more, and that's what's important. You're absolutely right. Uh, not only Sandy Castell, but you, you are true show business people, and it's, you know, it's easy to pull the jokes, you know, because we understand. Uh, well, when she's yeah, here, I, she's I have time to, to, you know, to act a fool and have some fun. Yeah, that's... Where now, it's different because now, you know, you're my guest and I want to give, like, like Evan Davis. He sat down and did two and a half hours, you know, of all the accounts he has. But, <laughs> what are you shaking your head for, one minute? Am I done? <laughs> no, hell no, we're going to bring, bring you back. And I love Evan Davis, I do love him. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to come back with my very special friend. And I mean that, people use the word friend very loosely in Vegas, but he's my very special friend. And that's uh, Robert. Turner. We're going to come back with him. We're going to talk about all the money he's got and all the gold that he's got. He's got more. If you found gold, in the, let me ask you a question real quick. If you found gold in the mountains, where do you find silver? In the mountains? No, on the Lone Ranger's ass. Yeah, okay, yeah, thank yeah. you. We're going to come back in about a few minutes, folks. Hold on. We'll be back. You came in with luck. Be a
start your day. This is Sandy Castell and Friends. Here again, your host, Sandy Castell. Oh, yeah, baby. We're back. We're back. We only got a few minutes to go, folks. I'm here right now, ladies and gentlemen, with a very special friend. Very special guy. He's got lots to tell you. Put your hands together from, from direct from Caesar's Palace, from the barge. Yeah. Okay, working in the men's room, giving out towels. Whatever it takes. <laughs> <laughs> Robert, hi, buddy. Robert hey. T, what's up, Mr. Turner? How you been? Good man? things, always. Give me some good news. What the hell's going on? Well, first of all, having f- thanks for having me on. Are you kidding me? I love you guys. Yeah. You know, I'm here because t- that's you, Sandy's not here. And then tomorrow I'm here again. You know, I'm trying to say. It shows you. that she's not here because you <laughs> obviously had liberty today. Oh. Major liberty. Yes, I did. Who's on yeah. tomorrow? She's Who's got a great balance. Cat, Ricky Cat, well, not Ricky Cat. Oh, my God. In heaven, how many times do you want to plug around the car? I'm just you and me. How about the two of us do a show? What's that? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do when you write about me, then we'll talk about it. Let me sit you, sit you're the editor now. This guy won't write about me. Him and Sam Meisbach, they will not say one word. I don't know why. They talk about everybody else but me and Sandy. Anyway, what's going on, buddy? You know what? Doing the same old thing, but always having a new twist on it, a new day. Well, tell me about what's happening. Well, I'll, I'll. About five minutes. I want to share with you. Five what minutes. We don't have five no, no. minutes. Okay, two minutes. We don't have oh, two yeah. minutes. Okay. okay, twenty seconds. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we already talked about a uh, couple weeks ago. We talked about the the gold business. Right. Very simple. Putting gold right. in people's hands and affordable discipline every week. So that's about ten percent of our portfolio. That's the general rule of thumb is when it comes to saving money. Right. Second part I want to talk about, and I'll give you my number this time, is I work with Allstate as a, a director for an Allstate office here in town. We have an amazing tax-free savings accounts we set up for people for all this money everybody's making here. Get out. Absolutely. And what I want to do is be able to do one-on-one. It's, it's, it's kind of complex, but it's an amazing. Grows tax-free, comes out tax-free. If you touch it early to expand your business or whatever you want to do, there's no penalties. So it's it's an amazing program. That's marvelous. Yeah. And how do they get in the how we get a hold of you? How do people? Seven zero two three four three nine eight one eight. That's hold my direct it. number. Take take that take that one more time a little slower. The telephone number? Yes, sir. Seven zero two three four three nine eight one eight. Now, do you have a website? Uh, well, Allstate has a general website for everybody, but uh, as far as when you go through there, it's it, the best is going to be to contact me. Because there's there's nothing like it's being it presented uh, in live form. You know, we have a special friend, you and I. Yes. She's about five foot four. She looks like she just came out of a little magazine. You know who she is. You might have to clarify. Great food. Yes, we do. Who is it? Shallow. How pretty! <laughs> That's the baby. Yeah. Tweet in the way. And what's the name of the restaurant? Uh, Cafe, Cafe de Boo Boo. What was it? <laughs> Cafe de Boo. Yeah, great. Yeah. Great food. And you know, behind you, believe it or not, is yes. the great Perco. That's the uh-huh. that is the real artist behind. Uh, Jolay, because she is his inspiration. Nice. Why he makes her walk around naked with high heels, I have no idea. <laughs> but the bottom- <laughs> Sandy, where are you? <laughs> I'm just <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm having, look at Ryan going, oh my God, it happened. <laughs> she's really his inspiration because I'm going to tell you something. You know, it, it, it's it's great to have it. And she's supportive to him. Now, you know, she has truffles and bacon, which is also a Filipino, you know, qu- type of cuisine right. that they have. You know, and it's so great because if you go to her place, and where's that located? It's uh, 665. 665. Zero. Zero. Eastern Avenue. Eastern Avenue. And it's between Sunset and Warm It's between Springs. Sunset and Warm Springs. You get show tickets going there. And actually, Casade de Boo Boo. Yep. All right. Uh, you can go there. And you also get complimentary show tickets for eating there. And, you know, and it's really great, you know, because it's nice to see people get ahead. You know what I mean? And, and me being a chef, because people use that word very loosely when they say chef. Right. Okay. Like, you know what I mean? They're saying doctor. You know, if a guy's, there's a lot of paramedics out there. They're not doctors. There's people say they call themselves chefs. They're great cooks, but they're not chefs. Chefs is a guy like Giancarlo. Chefs is a guy like the people from the Tuscany. These guys ain't no joke. All right. These guys know their craft. Okay. And, and, And people ask me, when you go eat, Mike, where do you go? Me, I love the food. I love the food at the Tuscany. Okay, love the food at the uh, at, at Giancarlo. Giancarlo, Giancarlo, <laughs> uh, his place. And believe it or not, as I hate to say it, 
all right? Because the, the pasta of Azul gives me heartburn, but it's delicious. And the Italian American Club's got great food, really, really great food. And one of the greatest showrooms in Las Vegas to perform in is Ronda Cars. That kid spent over a million dollars in that place and, and really gave an avenue for performers, you know, with a staging and lighting. And, and it's just incredible, you know, and we're trying to. But again, ladies and gentlemen, we need your support to support these people. So get in a car, go have some fun, go enjoy yourself. When you get your unemployment check or you get your Social Security check like Evan Davis, which is a dollar fifty and a bag of bagels, go over there and go to Ronda Cars and go because Evan Davis is going to do a 10-minute stand-up. Why do I want to be a comedian? And I want you to, if you want the tickets, please call me at Sicily 6 7171 and I will sell the tickets to you for the show. That when, When's your show? When's your, when are you performing? Or when am I performing? Yeah. Uh, October uh, 38th. <laughs> <laughs> We're only kidding. That was Evan Davis. So, Bobby, is that, so that's it? Is that nothing else? No, there is. Come that's, on, buddy. Oh, that's why I wanted to get that out of the way. All right, but that's, come on. I am absolutely ecstatic about getting out this week. Starting today, when we leave the show, right. this gentleman right over Who's here. Who's the gentleman? Let the people know who we're talking about. What do you mean, the people? Right here. Jonathan. I know, but... Oh, you mean Jonathan Caminero. Jo not, jo not Jonathan Caminero. Jonathan Caminero. Yeah. Yeah. You mean Indeed. Buddy John? Today, today, we are launching... What are you launching? Our marketing for the show. Today, today has been committed to it. That's today, great. We, we got a week before the first uh, the first uh, uh, airing, and uh, I'm setting my insurance aside. Not that's not important, but I'm excited to get out. And uh, we've already. I'm going to put this up there, just if nobody's. Uh, uh, I mean, if somebody works there, it's, we've got on our radar right now is SLS, and we're excited. We're going to do what we got. We we went. John and I went there. They just opened. What was the third day? That's correct. The third day. We were so impressed walking in there. It was amazing. You walk in every little niche of that building has got purpose and it's just a very cool atmosphere and I think it'd be a great place for the show especially with everything that the, the show offers as far as the entertainment the cooking uh, the promotion of business and and basically a, a fresh breath of air for Las Vegas well that sounds great because if I get that job there I want to make Evan Davis be the mater d we're going to call him the claw yeah okay they're so on our radar so if there's right. anybody out there that works so there they're people, on our radar as soon as he comes in they'll say I'll get you a good seat and as he's walking them over this is what Evan would do. As he's walking him over to the table, he says, you know, I, I represent John Kakar. I'm a writer. Go see this guy. He'll give him a pamphlet. I said, son of a gun. I only tease him. And that's what it's all about. Well, that's great. You know, i tell you, today's been a marvelous show, ladies and gentlemen. Anything, did I miss anything? No, that's it. You sure? I'm sure. Okay, I, you know, I, I, I got to close with, you know, my friend, Evan Davis, because he's chopping it the bit. All right, he's going, he's going through his paperwork. Is there any other of your accounts you want to well, say? I've got 27 pages here of just September's calendar, okay. which they can see it, evandavisjazz.com. 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 Okay, and we then... And and then there's a couple of other things I haven't mentioned. Uh, Chadwick Johnson at the not Chadwick Ameri Johnson every every Sunday night except for the 21st because he's doing a show at the Sun Coast on. Where's the he going to be at? Chadwick Johnson. He'll be at the Italian American Get out, Club not Sundays. There. Yes, yes, and it's a wonderful venue. A lot of fun there. There's there's so much going on. Every I mean, time I, I go in, they frisk me. Why? Why? Well, you have to leave your guns at the door. That's the uh, main. No, thing frisk me when I walk out. They oh, think I'm taking the plates and the food. <laughs> I mean, it, it's just there's just so much stuff going on that I you know I can't even begin to tell you. Although I will be Friday at the opening at Siena Trattoria. Yeah, it's about year. time, yeah. you know. And I, and and, I, and I, I'm going to invite you back, Evan, because everybody wants to know. I just got four. We got and the folks for the those that we didn't get a chance that called in today. We're going to give you a show tickets. Everybody wants to know why you don't want to write about me and Sandy, you and Sam Weinmeister, and that's okay. Well, but we're going to have you guys on, and we're going to talk all about it. I'm going to have the rabbi from Temple Beth Shalom. So if there's any problems, I have here, I have a medium. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, you've <laughs> been a marvelous audience. And Joe Lace uh, just showed me a beautiful pair of high heel shoes that he bought for his wife. And you know what he's going to do. He's going to go home. He's going to paint another picture. Uh, the, 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 we have 15 seconds. I have to say something about your friend uh, and my friend. Who? You know who is. Who? Hurry up. Who's our friend? A millionaire. Oh, the cross shows. The billionaires. <laughs> now, i got to tell you something, folks. They're I, not, he's not a billionaire. He's a trillionaire. I just want to tell you what, what I heard the people talking, you know. What did they hear? Uh, before two weeks, uh, Carl Grasso lost his wallet. He lost his wallet? Yes, with all his credit cards. No, you're kidding me. He didn't call police. He didn't call the police? He didn't call his bank. He didn't call the bank? 
for simple reason. What's the reason? He find out <laughs> that the thieves are spending less than his wife, Lisa. No kidding! <laughs> oh my God in heaven! Well, ladies and gentlemen, you've been a marvelous audience. We love you. We love you. I want to thank uh, um, Mr. Phillips for coming on. John Camarnero, Robert Turner, Jolie Perko, my good friend Evan Davis, Sandy, I love you. I miss you. She'll be well. She'll be back here with me on the set on Thursday. We got tomorrow. We're going to have a whole uh, array of people. Maybe I can get Evan Davis back again so he can plug all his friends that he's making a fortune of money over. But we love you, everybody. We thank you very much. And like my father would say, Bon de salud. Remember, when you're depressed and unhappy, look above a cloud and say a prayer. Trust me, that man will never let you down. God bless you, everybody. See you tomorrow. Far away, my heart says, don't